Hello, it's Bini here. As you probably know, I've uh, had COVID and was down for a few days. In fact, about seven days. I was uh, not able to uh, speak properly because I still have this very nasty cough whenever I want to talk. In fact, that I'm suspecting that for this recording, I probably need to pause and cough and pause and cough. All right, so let's come to this uh, recording and what I wanted to show today. It's uh, exactly how, you know, if let's say if you are not feeling well and you can't be monitoring the market, then what you can do with certain automations to help you. And this is what I'm using in terms of automations to help me. As you can see, you know, my phone is buzzing right now because um, it's just uh, past six o'clock and there are some signals that we are looking at. Okay, so you can see on my screen here, this is a dashboard. And this dashboard is to track real time into pairs that have uh, signals. Okay, so whenever there's a signal, um, you know, every four hours, then the dashboard would flash out. So as you know, you can see from my screen here, uh, for Aussie dollar and Aussie sing, for example, six minutes ago or seven seven minutes ago, because time now it's uh, six zero seven in Singapore. So seven minutes ago at six p.m. at the close of H four bar. There was a signal for us to take this trade all right so today i'm just going to share the process of how i'm going to trade um and i'm just going to show uh from one of the trade that had already happened so it makes more sense to show things that has already happened so you know exactly how things are being put uh, into place especially when for example you're busy and you have no time to let's say execute the trade or to manage the trade or even to put in the trade or for example you have done your analysis and you want certain automations to help you automat automatically calculate the lot size, automatically put in the trade. Um, you know, so these are all solutions that we can um, do to grow our money to to trade into something that's profitable. Uh, even when, for example, uh, you are not free from your work, or for me, I was down for about seven days because of COVID. All right, so let's take a look into this trade here, which was uh, pound cat, which was a sell. All right, that happens about 20 hours ago. All right, so if you look at the time now, it's 6.08. So 20 hours would mean that it's probably during my sleeping time. Okay, so if you calculate 20 hours ago, and uh, that would be 10 p.m. Singapore time. Okay, 10 p.m. last night. All right, so last night at 10 p.m., there was a sell signal uh, on pound cat. Right, and um, we saw that the sell uh, was somewhere around 1.6846. Okay, so that was the H4 closing price. Okay, let's check out pound cat chart. All right, so this is um, a chart with tall indicators, right? So all the boxes and the lines are automatically drawn. Um, I don't need to draw any lines myself. So the simple rule is this, okay, of course, that the whole Alan Walsh rules are a little bit more complicated than this, but simply if we see a green line, we are getting ready to sell. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, um, the selling price of uh, Pound Cat was around here, which was 1.6846, if I don't remember the number wrongly. So let me just check that again. Yes, the number, the, the price was 1.6846. Okay, so that's the price that uh, we had the sell signal so this was the 1.6846 here so this means that our trigger which is the place that we put in the trade was exactly this place here but 10 10 a.m you might be you know i mean for me i'm actually tr trying to put my daughter to sleep because then she has lesson early in the morning all right so i don't want to her to miss the sleeping time so usually i try to not trade during the night time okay um, but sometimes, because then during the night time would be where US trading um, is more active and you're going to realize that there are a lot of very nice trades here. So what can I do? Okay, so because there are things that we already know that it is going to happen, it's just that we are not there to do the trade ourselves. Okay, so what I do is that, of course, um, you know, we, we can do a simple analysis such as, you know, for Pound Cat. It has been, you know, going down very nicely in a very nice downtrend. And uh, of course, we know that uh, this upward move here. So this move was like a um, retracement. So um, with the set of tall indicators, 
we had already the green line, so this green line here, already drawn, okay, uh, somewhere around here at this bar here. So what I can do is I can drag in, okay, which is Tor Trade Manager, right? The name for Tor Trade Manager is um, Alum. It will automatically open the trade when the signal appears, okay, meaning that you can just drag it anytime at this place here, at this place here, which gives us plenty of um, uh, time. I mean, uh, it's about 20 plus hours, you know, for, for us, for me to drag that uh, uh, trade manager inside for it to automatically open the trade for me. Okay, so therefore, what I did is that I knew that, you know, this trade was, um, has a green line and then, and the trend was clearly down. So what I did is, you know, is to drag the uh, tall trade manager inside the trade, inside this particular chart here. And just leave it there and then let, let it open the trade. Alright, so what do I mean by drag? Let me just show it to you. Alright, so this is what I mean. So I have this expert advisor, alright, called Alum, and I just have to drag it in. Alright, and then just uh, change some simple setting. Right, which is essentially the magic number and then um, you know I just have to click OK and then it will start to wait for the trade uh, for me okay stand by and if there's a signal it will just automatically open the trade right so that was what happened to me for those few days I was down and I couldn't be looking at the screen and I roughly know that hey look you know the actions were there and I just have to activate you know alone to help me you know trade accordingly so in fact that you open the trade for me it automatically shift the stop loss and it just automatically, you know, add in new positions and automatically close the position for me. All right, so I just have to do one simple thing. All right, which is drag it in, put it in, and allow it to trade. Of course, by dragging in, I'm also doing simple things like to give the trend uh, a check, right? To give um, the support resistance a check, and that's simple things to do. Okay, so I'm just going to run, um, you know, uh, a very simple roll back all right to let you see how the trade was being opened and what happened to um, my current trade which is crown cat all right now i'm going to start this uh, strategy tester to play back exactly what happened we're going to start on the 9th of uh march okay so somewhere around here so let's get started okay so this is this is exactly what happened because you know power cat was in this huge down and i was looking to uh Shot it. So what I did was I saw that pound cat didn't really move much, and it has been going flat for a while. All right, so I was just ready to go short. I just, I just don't know when it's gonna happen. So what I did was just drag in um, this trade manager to open the trade for me. So when the rules are met, it will automatically open this trade. Of course, then why is the trade manager? Because it doesn't trade automatically. I still have to agree to let it trade, and I find having a little bit more control so some people might desire a full automated um, you know expert advisor to trade automatically but you know that this eventually didn't happen uh, you know as a good result so a trade was open here so let me just pause this for a while all right so you can see let me just expand this all right you can see that the trade was open here exactly at 10 o'clock right and the price was uh, uh, 1.6846 okay so if you have used alone which is the trade manager all right you will have just opened at the same place just have to drag it in and then leave it there and then once it happens you'll automatically trade that and you can see this place here right it says that it's automatically close a partial of the trade okay so this is the lock in uh, profit partial profit and allows um, the shift of the stop loss okay we we might you know, it might happen that the trade is just going to move down, but you know, sometimes it may just reverse and then it may just cause a winning trade to be a loss. Okay, so the idea is that once it moves into certain level, it will automatically take profit. All right, okay, so let's continue. And uh, we've seen a very nice move to the end of the day, and then um, a new day starts. Okay, and you can see that the stop loss has been shifted lower. So initially, the stop loss was on top here, right? And then it has been shifted lower, right, to protect a little a bit more uh, profit right now.
Okay, so this is so far what is happening right now to pound cat. I mean the current price, if you can see my screen, um, the current bar is exactly looking like what it is. So let's check the current bar. You can see exactly, you know, this was, this was the place I put in and this was the place uh, right now. Alright, so the whole thing is I just have to wait and see what happened and perhaps I'm just close it to lock the profit um, for the weekend. But all in all, all right, um, it's, it's a stress-free trick for me because I don't need to mon monitor it because um, as long as there's new development, development then Alum will automatically shift um, the, the uh, stop loss to lock in more profit for me. And then uh, if the rules allows me to add in more trades, and that's good, you know, it will continue to add in new positions on the winning uh, trades at the moment.